Hello everyone and welcome to Katha by Shraddha. I am incredibly excited to bring to you today readings from a very unique book called The Zoo Around You. This book is written by Katie Bagley and Medha Rajadhaksha and published by Inking Innovations. Now, the little girl in this book, her mom, her dad and her favorite aunt Meg live in a city just like I do and maybe like you too. This book takes us on their journey of discovery of a whole world of creatures that live around them in every nook and cranny that they look, in every single place that they search. Isn't that amazing? You and I live in a zoo amongst all these creatures. So let's dive right in and read. The first verse in this book is called The Zoo. It goes like this. It doesn't seem so, but it is true. My family and I live in a zoo. When mom and I are thinking aloud, she says the funniest things. She says there is a big zoo right inside me too. Aunt Meg won't agree, and it hardly sounds true. It is just unbelievable. We, folks around us, and you are really parts of a wonderful zoo. There is a zoo in the river. There is a zoo in the school. There is a zoo in the market and also in the pool. There is a zoo in the kitchen, a zoo in the street. There is a zoo on the windowsill and also on the beach. There is a zoo in the mountains and a zoo in the fields. There is a zoo in the garden and also in our meals. This amazing zoo of ours is fun, is sweet. Mom, Dad and I love every bit of it. We love the beautiful people who make this special zoo. Aunt Meg won't agree, but she loves it too. Let's read on. The next verse is called Zoo in the Veggies. Can you believe there can be a zoo in your vegetables? Let's read. Aunt Meg is busy as can be. She reads, she writes, she goes to the courts. She kicks up a fight. She knows all the laws. And she knows what is right. But do you know what? Aunt Meg just can't cook. Last Sunday morning, Mom, Dad and me decided Aunt Meg should be taught just for fun and why not? To get Aunt Meg into the kitchen, we pleaded and cajoled. We flattered her too. We talked her into making us a vegetable stew. Dad suggested with a twinkle in his eyes he will shop specially to get a kilo of potatoes, a kilo of peas, half a kilo of carrots, a piece of pumpkin and brinjals too, all to brew in Aunt Meg's stew. Aunt Meg was cornered, hot in a spot, but she rose to the challenge. You see, she is smartest of us lot. So off she started in earnest to prove she could make the world's tastiest stew. She chopped and she sliced, she washed and she cleaned, she worked on the veggies and also on the greens. It all looked in place 
it all looked fine and then a little worm showed up in the bowl of peas and another peeped out from the brinjal peas. Aunt Meg shrieked ah! and so did mom. But for me it was fun for I had discovered again anew the veggies too housed their very own zoo. So can you guess who was in the veggie zoo? I think you know. They were little caterpillars. Now, the next verse I want to read to you is called A Zoo in the Banyan Tree. One morning I woke up with the lark. Mum and Dad took me to the park. I was drawn to a huge banyan tree which had roots hanging from its canopy. Up and down and up and down I swung pretending to be a monkey. Tuk 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 said a strange bird. Its red, green, yellow feathers looked quite absurd. This bird which looked like a clown was making a hole perfectly round and calling with a metallic sound. Coppersmith, said Dad with a thoughtful frown. A bulbul above me sang melodiously, cherishing the banyan's red berries with its black crest cocked up comically. Hopping about the branches of the tree, it gladdened our hearts to share its glee of the joy it nurtured from the banyan tree. In the hollow of the banyan, guess what? A hard-faced owl was snoring somewhat. I jumped with delight when I saw its face white. Barn owls snore and screech. They don't hoot. I think that makes them really cute. On the banyan's large trunk, sitting quite still, was yet another creature that gave me a thrill. Darting its long tongue in and out was a lizard licking its triangular snout. After gobbling down a bug fat and round, insects, birds and reptiles too, living together without much ado, they are all part of the Banyan Zoo. Isn't that wonderful? How the big banyan tree can be a home to so many creatures and it's a zoo all by itself. And do you know that because of the many red figs that grow on the banyan tree, it attracts all kinds of birds and its big huge branches and leaves give a lot of shelter too and that makes the birds feel very secure and safe. And again, at the end of the verse here is some information about that particular zoo in the banyan tree. So this book has verses like these, many, many more. There are many to choose from. Well, I hope you like the readings from this book. Again, the book is called The Zoo Around You by Inking Innovations and written by Katie Bagley and Medha Rajadhaksha. And I think if you can get your hands on this book, you should. Thank you so much for watching. If you like our stories and poems and videos, do like, share and subscribe to Katha by Shraddha. See you next time. Bye.